Yo, what's up, everybody? How you doing? This freaking chapter, I felt like, was, it gave some information, but I felt like it was, to, and basically towards the end, this is why I'm feeling like this, that it was crap. Like, I'm feeling like this chapter was, like, and here's, my, here's what I'm, I'm going through. Because, like, at the end of this chapter, if you haven't read the chapter of, and I don't know what you're watching this video for. But at the end of this chapter, freaking Luffy, like, does the, I don't know if it's the King Kong gong. I think that's what it is. He does, like, the, uh, to where, like, he blows up his freaking forearm and it becomes, like, a round fucking armament hockey shit. And then he, he punched Fujitora. After Fujitora lift all the rubble from the entire battle, from the entire battle up into the sky, uh, to try to stop those guys at Eastern, uh, at the uh, Eastern Port from getting on the ships and stuff. Luffy freaking punched Fujitora in the face with that and made it seem and the chapter immediately ended after that. And that left me that left me feeling like, okay, what the fuck is going on, Oda? Before I get in my rant, because I'm about to rant, one thing that happened to where uh, Law had left Law wasn't with everybody running towards the Eastern Port. He had ran somewhere. And I didn't know that until this chapter. Because I was like, when they said, we waiting for Luffy and Law. I was like, hold on. Law wasn't with them the whole time? So, freaking Law had left and went and talked to Sengoku. And he just sitting over there, him and Sengoku, just talking about uh, Rosinante. Uh, freaking, freaking Rosinante. Corazon. And, um... Sengoku talking about how he felt uh, Corazon was like a son to him and how uh, he loved Corazon and stuff. And talking about how Corazon used to tell Sengoku about this boy with uh, white lead disease and all that. And it was cool. And Sengoku was just telling Law about uh, how Rosinante, and this is something that I never knew about, and I don't think anybody knew because Oda just put it in now, that Rosinante was a D himself. So, like, I'm not sure what the heck that even means. Like, how can Rosinante, him being, uh, uh, well, basically alumni from Mary Joa, how can him, how can he be a D and Doflamingo not be a D? Like, I don't know if freaking Sengoku was just talking about law being a D and like all the other D's, or if Rosinante Corazon himself was a D himself. Like, I really don't know. But, um, uh, freaking, what else happened, man? Uh, yeah, then freaking, uh, Law and, uh, Sengoku, Sengoku finally walked off, and Law started running back to the Eastern Port, and then that's when, like, when Law got back is when Luffy was coming back, and everybody was like, Luffy, hurry up, come back. And this is what made me, like, want to rant. Excuse me. God, man, every time I do a video and start talking a lot, I always got to belch. But freaking um, Luffy was running back. And he freaking did, I don't know, I think it's King Kong Gong where his arm is really, like, big. To where, you know, when he, um, when he was riding on that bull in the anime, that he hit Pika and blasted Pika's face open. Like, he did one of those. And he just punched Fujitora, and it looked like Fujitora got knocked down or something. Like, he just punched Fujitora, and here's my thing. Now, Luffy just got out of fighting Doflamingo. Depleted hockey, got his hockey back after, like, 10 minutes of everybody in the entire country trying to fight off Doflamingo to help Luffy so Luffy can get his hockey back to where he can beat him. Then Luffy, like, after they beat Doflamingo, he freaking went to sleep. Now he's sleep. Now, I don't know how long Luffy slept. I don't know if it was a day or if it was a couple of hours. If it, if it was a few days or a couple of hours after they defeated Doflamingo. But I'm thinking it was in the same day that they defeated Doflamingo. Now, how in the world does Luffy, and here's my thing, and this is why 
I'm mad because I don't want Luffy to become a hat character to where he could just do anything. Like, this guy could just do anything. Like, it don't even matter no more. Like, the uh, the character development that he built, up, built himself up to, those two years, Luffy must have been lifting entire planets or whatever. Like, I don't want Luffy to become no hat character, man, because my thing is, like, how in the world can Luffy, who just slept for a couple of hours, get up, run, and then try to fight or punch a freaking admiral, and it actually does something to the admiral? Like, how in the world is that even possible? Like, that's really stupid to me, man. Like, that's so stupid. Ain't no way Luffy can freaking punch Fujitora and it actually does something. Luffy shouldn't have any ability right now. He just freaking woke up. Like, he just woke up, man. This is just basically saying that Luffy is going to... To me, this is what's telling me. Because if Luffy... Like, if next chapter, next week, freaking uh, Fujitora... Everybody see Fujitora on the ground and stuff. This is telling me that Luffy don't even have to train to beat Shanks, to beat Big Mom, Kaido... Or freaking Blackbeard. Like, he don't even... He probably not going to fight Shanks. But he don't even have to train or do anything. He just going to fight a couple of people here, a couple of people there, and then beat them. Like, that's such crap to me, man. Then go to a Kaido, then beat a Kaido. Then beat the rest of CP9. Like, what in the world, man? That's just so much crap to me. Like, what in the world? I really hope Luffy don't become one of those uh, hat characters to where it doesn't even matter... Who's he fighting? He's just going to beat him anyways. With the power he has now. Like, Oda, please do not do that, man. Like, for real. I'm just so freaking on the fence about Oda freaking doing this to us, man. Like, do not do that, Oda. Do not make Luffy no hat character, man. But other than that, nothing happened this freaking uh, chapter. The entire chapter... Up to like the last, I, I don't know how many pages the chapter, I think it was like 20 some pages. So like from chapter one to like chapter, I want to say like 13 or whatever. It was just freaking uh, Bastille talking to Osudu about how many reinforcements do he need and where the Marines at, how come the Marines ain't doing anything. First time, first entirety of the chapter was like pointless. Then it wasn't until the second half of the chapter towards the end to where stuff actually happened, man. But let me know your thoughts on this chapter. Uh, did you like it? Did you enjoy it, man? Uh, I kind of was like, I, I'm i like, I give this chapter like a f five and a half out of ten for me because the end really messed me up. The freaking Sengoku and Trifog, uh, the freaking Goku and Lost stuff, Sengoku and Lost stuff, not Goku and Lost stuff. But well, you can't call them that, but whatever. The freaking Sengoku and Lost stuff really, like, was interesting to me. I liked it. But overall, this chapter for me is like 5.5 out of 10. I really didn't like the end of it. But the uh, Law and Sengoku stuff was really good. But um, let me know what you think, man. Did you like this chapter? Did you dislike it? Any overall thoughts on it? But um, um, before you do that, like this video if you like this video. Dislike it if you don't. I don't care. Just let me know. Somebody watching my stuff. And subscribe if you haven't already, man. It's freaking free. Stay updated my videos. Stay looking at my shirts. Stay enjoying my freaking rants and chapter reviews and anime reviews and manga reviews and new anime and fan animation and all that stuff. That YouTube is telling y'all to connive y'all and to trick y'all into subscribing to them. I'm going to do the same thing too, man. What you looking at me like that for? But yeah, man. That's all I got for this freaking chapter. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments and all that, man. But. And let me know what you had for dinner last night, too. I had pizza. No, I had spaghetti last night. Spaghetti is my favorite food, you know. But, yeah, man, I'm out. Y'all take it easy. Peace. Love your faces. That's a closet.